Jesus delivered me from a holiness satanic church. End time alarm. Be careful of satanic holiness churches. And... Welcome to the moment of truth. I want you to stay tuned to the end and listen to this testimony of Brother Isaiah from USA. There's a lot of satanic churches out there. They pretend to be unholy churches. I've exposed a lot of them. They are liars. They are taking you to where they are going. You don't want to go there. You want to go to, with our Lord Jesus Christ. Stay tuned to the end. The devil has transformed himself into an angel of light and his ministers into ministers of righteousness. All glory to God the Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for not allowing me to die in my ignorance, sins, and go to hell. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul and maintaining my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. I thank God for bringing church where holiness and righteousness is preached and practiced. A church where women don't dress seductively or expose their bodies. A church where demon-inspired music is not sung. A church where women don't put on attachments, women don't wear trousers, no painting, and no jewelry. A church where heaven is preached and is the focus. Also, in such a church, I may find a good woman to marry. So I found one through the internet. This church is 99% white people. There were only three black people in that church when I came. If you see the dressing of the women in that church, you will think you are in heaven already. The women wear long skirts, long sleeve dresses, long gowns, no high heels, no painting, no jewelry no attachment and they cover their chest properly the men dress decently and neat no tattoos no long crazy hair like most americans do they are always in suit in fact this white church in america dresses and preach like the popular holiness churches in nigeria although their women may not put on scarf always there is praying and fasting every week and the church is open outside their normal service times for you to come and pray. You know that it's not easy to find such church in America and Europe. My dear, do not rely on your understanding. Please be led only by the Holy Spirit at all times. Test every spirit before approval. You might have a good motive. You may pray the right prayer. But remember that the devil is also listening to your prayers. He would want to answer those good prayers you are praying to God. Be wise, for the devil has transformed himself to an angel of light and his ministers into ministers of righteousness. 2 Corinthians 11, 13 to 15. And he, the devil, has also sown tears among the weeds. Matthew 13. After I started going to that church, I kept on listening to the messages. So after reading the book titled, Stop Just Going to Church, and Whose Church Is This? I decided to pray about the church I was attending and the other churches I have attended before. One day, someone appeared to me in my dream and told me that I should go with him to the church because he wants to show me things about the church I have been attending. So after arguing with him, I reluctantly followed him. I argued and was reluctant to follow him because in my mind, I felt I know the church because they dress holy, they preach about heaven and hell, rapture, and they preach that Jesus is God in human flesh. They preach that there is only one God. They practice baptism by immersion and all the sound doctrines. That person told me that we will go to that church in the middle of the night. So I told him that the church is not open by midnight because I knew that the church closes its services latest around 9 p.m. But he told me not to worry, that I should just go with him and that I will see. So I reluctantly followed him. When we got to the church, at that exact time he told me 
The church double doors opened on its own, and I was surprised. But to my greater surprise and shock, I saw members of the church file out of the church stark naked and barefooted, both men and women, with no single covering. And I turned my face away because I did not want to see their nakedness. They marched to another building, a demonic church, in the same street. There I saw Satan seated, and there they worshipped Satan stark naked. And after worshipping Satan there, they filed out back to the first church and dressed up holy looking and righteous again, completely covered. And the person said to me, Do you now see? And I woke up. In the daytime, they dress holy and righteous and worship openly in the first church. Satan called, but in the middle of the night, they gather in the first church and from there move to a secret branch of the first church to worship Satan there stuck naked and ignorant people like us. That was the experience of Brother Isaac. Is it Isaac or Isaiah from USA? It is happening. And I told you, my people, even the Bible encourages us. He said, by their fruits, we shall know them. Not by their appearance. Sometimes not by what they are saying. But most of the times, God allowed them to use their own mouth to expose themselves. But we are too, we are too carried away to the extent that some of them don't even listen to what they are saying. They've given themselves away in many ways, but we are not deep thinker. I was a shallow thinker as well until God delivered me. And that's why I'm preaching the gospel, my experience, my stories to help others. God allowed me to go to the house of Pharaoh's. All these churches are being, they are house of pharaohs. So God taught me like he did Moses. He taught me. So I'm sharing my experience. And you've heard that brother experience as well. When your pastor is not saying something that is in the line with the Lord, with the word of God, pray about it. But how would you know when even yourself is not connected with the Almighty Father? You so much believe in so seed, so seed, so seed. You so much believe in everything these pastors are telling you. Once you give your hundred percent to them, that's it. You will lose. You 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 lost God. You will lose the the, the 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 voice of God. There's no connection anymore. That's why I say no God for yourself. Don't let this man take you to where they are going. Where they are going is not good, though, my people. They are here to do business or net with Satan. What our Lord Jesus Christ rejected from Satan, they have collected it. They are satanic, they are satanic agents on net. And they are ready to take as many as possible to their kingdom. There's no God in them or no Christ in them. If God opened your eyes the way he did me and many others, ah, you feel sorry for yourself. It's better to stay at home. Know God for yourself. Read your Bible. Help the needy. Help the widows. Help the children. Do you know God for yourself. You don't have to go to God to, to preach the gospel. You do not have to. If there's no good churches around you, don't go and put your head in something that will burn you in the last day. You don't want the word. Depart from me. You workers of iniquity. It's even worse enough to be among them. You might say you are holy. But when you are among the ungodly, you are among the enemies of God, you will be part of their judgment. That's what the word of God says in the book of uh, in, 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 in the book of Psalm. I think, I think Psalm 1, if you read the whole lot, is there. So what is going on now? It's not gimmickal, it's real low, but it's less for you to understand what you are saying by reading your Bible, have a relationship with the Almighty God, connection with the Almighty God. He wants your obedience, He wants your relationship. Not so see though, not buy man to though, not putting man to on your head though, that will not take you anywhere. Oh. 
I see you on my next video. Bye for now. And I hope you learned something from this man's uh, revelation and experience. Bye for now. Be careful with the false.